Curious George Learns the Alphabet by H. A. Ray This is George. He lived with his friend, the man with the yellow hat. He was a good little monkey, but he was always curious. This morning, George was looking at some of his friend's books. They were full of little black marks and dots and lines, and George was curious. What could one do with them? The man with the yellow hat came just in time. You don't tear a book apart to find out what's in it, he said. You read it, George. Books are full of stories. Stories are made of words, and words are made of letters. If you want to read a story, you first have to know the letters of the alphabet. Let me show you. The man took a big pad and began to draw. George was curious. This is an A, the man said. The A is the first letter of the alphabet. Now we add four feet and a long tail, and the A becomes an alligator with his mouth wide open. The word alligator starts with an A, and this is a big A. There is also a small A. All letters come in big and in small. This is a small A. It looks like a piece of an apple. George knew alligators and apples. You could eat apples. Alligators could eat you if you didn't watch out. This is a big bee. The big bee looks like a bird. If we put feet on it and a tail and a bill, the word bird begins with a B. Birds come in all colors. This bird is blue. George loved to watch the birds. This is a small bee. It could be a bee. This bee is busy buzzing around a blossom. The bee's body has black and yellow stripes. George kept away from the bees. They might sting, and that would be bad. This is a big sea. We will make it into a crab, a big crab, with a shell and feet and two claws. This is a small sea. The small sea is like the big sea, only smaller. So it becomes a small crab. It's cute. Crabs live in the ocean. They can swim or run sideways and backwards. Crabs can be funny, but they can also pinch you. You now have three letters, George, the man said. A and B and C. With these three letters, you can make a word. The first word you can read yourself. The word is cab. You know what a cab is? I once took you for a ride in a cab, remember? And now, let's draw the next letter. The big D could be a dinosaur. There are no live dinosaurs today. They have died out. Those you see in museums are dummies. George had seen dinosaurs in a museum once. The small D looks like a dromedary. A dromedary is a camel with one hump. Riding on a dromedary can make you dizzy because it goes up and down, up and down, up and down. The big E is an elephant. He is eating his evening meal, eggplants. George loved elephants. The small E could be the ear of a man or the ear of a monkey. People's ears and monkey's ears look very much alike. The big F is a fireman fighting a fire. Never fool with the fire department or you go to jail and that's no fun. The small F is a flower. George's friend was fond of flowers. George preferred food. The big G is a goose 
Goose starts with a G, like George. The small G is a goldfish. He's in a glass bowl and looks giddy. Now you know seven letters, George, said the man. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. With these letters we can already make quite a few words. I have written some of them down. You read them while I get you your lunch. Dad, Ed, Bad, Bag, Cage, Bed, Feed. It seems the only word you can read is bad, said the men when he came back. I think we've had enough for one morning. I'll feed you now and then you can take your nap. After your nap, we'll go on with our letters. The big H is a house. It stands on a hill behind a hedge. George's home used to be a jungle. Now he lives in a house. The small H is a horse. He is happy because he has heaps of hay. George had his own horse, a hobby horse. The big I is just a long line going straight down. It does not look like much. It could be an icicle. The small I is a line with a dot on top. It could be an iguana. An iguana is a sort of lizard. Iguanas don't like ice. They like the warm sunshine. So does George. The big J is a jaguar. Jaguars live in the jungle. George knew jaguars. He had lived in the jungle once. The small J is a jack-in-the-box. George had a jack-in-the-box as a toy. He just loved to make it jump. The big K is a big kangaroo called Katie. The small K is a small kangaroo. He is Katie's kid. The big L is a lion. He is lucky. He is going to have leg of lamb for lunch and he loves it. The small L is a lean lady. She is strolling along a lake licking a lollipop. George likes lollipops. The big M is a mailman. His name is Mr. Miller. He brings a letter. Maybe it's for me, thinks George. The small M is a mouse. He is munching mints. And do you know what else it is, said the man to George? M is the thirteenth letter of the ABC. The whole alphabet has only twenty-six letters, so thirteen is just half of it. You can make lots of words with these letters. Why don't you try? Here's a pad and pencil. George started to think of words, and then he wrote them down. It was fun to make words out of letters. Let me see, said the man. Ball, milk, cake, ham, jam, egg, lime, feed, kid. That's very good. But what on earth is a dulg, or a glidge, or a blim lim lim? There are no such things. Just any letters do not make words, George. Well, let's look at some new letters now. The big N is a napkin. Standing on a dinner plate, it looks neat. George had seen napkins folded that way in the restaurant when he was a dishwasher. The small N is a nose. In the face of a man, he has a new blue necktie on and is nibbling noodles. The big O is a big ostrich, and the small O is a small ostrich, of course. Ostriches eat odd objects. One ostrich once had tried to eat a bugle that belonged to George. 
The big P is a big penguin and the small P is a small penguin. These penguins live near the South Pole. They use their flappers as paddles. George knew penguins from the zoo. The big Q is a quail. Quails have short tails. You must keep quiet if you want to watch quails. They are quite shy. The small Q is a quarterback. A quarterback has to be quick. George was quick. He would qualify for a quarterback. And now get your football, George, said the man. It will do you good to play a little before we go on with your letters. George knew how to play the game. He knew how to carry the ball, and how to take a three-point stance, and how to get ready for the kickoff. He was a fine halfback, too, and he could make a short pass or recover a fumble. Good game, said the man, but time's up now. Back to the alphabet. The big R is a rabbit. Some rabbits are white with red eyes. Rabbits love radishes. George loved rabbits. He had one as a pet. The small r is a rooster. The rooster crows when the sun rises. Two roosters will start a rumpus. They really can get rough. The big s is a big snail, and the small s is a small snail. Snails are slow. They sneak into their shells when they are scared of something. George thought snails looked silly. The big T is a table. The table is set for two. It's time for tea. George did not care for tea, but he liked toast. The small T is a tomahawk. George had a tomahawk. It was a tiny one. He took it along when he played outside. Now it's time for a snack, said the man. Run over to the baker, George, and hand him this note. Then come right back with the doughnuts, one dozen of them, and no tricks, please. George was curious. He looked at the note the man had written. One dozen doughnuts. Maybe he could write something on it, too. How about writing ten instead of one? He had just learned the T. First a T, then an E, and then an N. Hmm, said the baker. Ten dozen doughnuts is quite a lot, but that's what the note says. We need an extra big bag for them. Why, George, cried the man when he saw the note. Well, that comes from teaching the alphabet to a little monkey, and I told you no tricks. You may not eat any doughnuts now, George. Put them back in the bag, and let's go on with the letters. The big U is a big umbrella standing upright. The umbrella handle is also like a U. George knew how to use an umbrella. The small U is a small umbrella. When it is raining, umbrellas are useful, but you must keep under the umbrella, unless you want to get wet. George thought rain was a nuisance. The big V is a big valentine, and the small V is a small valentine. George loved valentines. He got several valentine cards every year. One card came from Nevada. The big W and the small W are whiskers, big ones and small ones. A walrus has whiskers. Some men have whiskers, and cats have whiskers. George did not have whiskers, but he was curious how he would look if he did. The next letter of the alphabet is X. The big X and the small X look alike. Only one is big and one is small, just like the big W and the small W, or the V or the U or the S, and some of the other letters. But, said the man, there are few words that start with an X, and they don't look like an X, except one, and that is Xmas. Santa stands for Xmas. There is only one Santa, so we need only one picture. George thought Xmas was exciting. The big Y is a big yak, and the small Y is a small yak. He's still young. Yaks live in Tibet. If you haven't seen any yaks yet, you may find one at the zoo. 
The big Z is a big zebra and the small Z is a small zebra. The zebras are zipping along with zest. And do you know what, said the man, Z is the last letter. Now you know all the 26 letters of the alphabet and now you may have the donuts. The end.